Hello students, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel Physics Insight. Today in this video, I am going to teach you about how to find out the refractive index of a liquid using convex lens. So students, let's see which materials we will use to find out the refractive index. The materials which we will use to perform the experiment are a needle fitted stand, a meter scale, a dropper, a convex lens, liquid whose refractive index is to be measured, plane mirror. Let's proceed for the experiment now. Place a needle fitted stand on a plane surface. Now exactly at the bottom of needle, place a piece of plane mirror. Now place a convex lens on the plane mirror. View the image of needle through convex lens. Now adjust the vertical distance of the needle in such a way that the tip of needle coincides with the tip of inverted image of the needle visible through the convex lens. This is the situation which we have obtained by adjusting the vertical distance of a needle. Now we will check whether there exists a parallax error or not. We will simply displace our vision towards right if both the needle and image moves towards the right and again we are shifting our vision towards the left if both needle and image shifts towards the left equally which means there is no parallax error. Now as if there exists some parallax error again adjust the location of needle so that your parallax error gets removed. As soon as it gets removed now measure the location of needle with respect to the upper surface of convex lens. Either you can do this with the help of meter scale or you can also do it with the help of plumb line. You can do whatsoever method is suitable for you. I am using meter scale and the observed distance between needle and the upper surface of convex lens is 19.9 cm. Now remove the convex lens and note down the distance between needle and the plane mirror. It comes out to be 20.3 cm. Now put few drops of liquid whose refractive index is to be measured on the plane mirror. And now place convex lens on the liquid. Try to see the image of needle through this liquid lens. Again we will adjust the vertical distance of the needle so that we obtain the inverted image of the needle through this liquid lens such that the tip of image coincides exactly with the tip of needle and also do not forget to check the parallax error after removing parallax error we have reached at this situation now again we will measure the distance between the needle and the upper surface of liquid lens and the distance between the needle and plane mirror. We have measured the distance between needle and the upper surface of liquid lens to be 27.2 cm and the distance between needle and the mirror comes out to be 27.7 cm. Now calculate the mean focal length. It comes out to be 20.1 cm in first case and 27.45 cm in case of liquid lens. Also we know that the given radius of curvature is 16 cm and now the new focal length of combination which we have obtained comes out to be 1 by f2 is equal to minus 0 0.01332 cm. After substituting the value of R and 1 by F2, we have obtained the refractive index of the liquid to be 1.213. 
so this was our experiment students i hope it is clear to you all and you all like the video keep supporting us guys by liking and sharing our content do subscribe our channel do not forget to press the bell icon see you again students in the next video god bless you all